Good day everyone, I am Pratya and today I will be presenting our work on real-time simulation models for photovoltaic cells and arrays in Opalerti and Typhoon Hill. We will begin with a short background. We know that the with the increase of sol solar power in uh, integration in the grid, efficient and accurate mathematical modeling and simulation of PV cells have become a very important topic of research. This paper explores a custom homogeneous real-time cross-platform model for real-time simulation of PV cells. And this model is simulated across two different hardware architectures, Typhoon Hill 603 and Opalerti 5030. These two real-time simulators have starkly different processor architectures and interfaces. In this slide, we will discuss, we will discuss how mathematically we model the PV system. In the top right, a single diode model is shown. Single diode model is the most reported and simple model that represents the performance and behavior of a PV system. Now, we must remember that since we are proposing a simple and homogeneous cross-platform compatible model, we can't actually use any complicated library blocks like diodes or PV cells. Thus, what we did was simplify by this simplify this single diode model using appropriate mathematical equations and no complicated mathematical blocks were used, only numerical blocks were used while modeling this system. Inside the blue square, you can see that different mathematical steps were taken to compute the different parameters associated with this modeling. For example, we begin with thermal voltage modeling, then we compute the series resistance, then we compute the open circuit uh, terminal resistance, short circuit terminal current, and then finally we compute the dark current or IO. All these parameters depend on the inputs like irradiation, temperature, the number of series and parallel connected PV modules and the input DC voltage. This computational procedure is presented by the block diagram on the bottom right. Once all these parameters like uh, thermal, thermal voltage, terminal voltage and terminal current etc are uh, computed, we feed them into the final equation and get the output voltage and output current. This is done using a neutron reaction model on the uh, extreme right of the block diagram. Now we will discuss the results. So since we are proposing a model for PV systems, we must exhibit how accurate this model is. Thus this model's VI characteristics is compared with the VI characteristics of an existing model proposed by Mahmood that is shown in blue. The proposed model is in red and the green curve represents the performance of a model that was archived by Enrel and proposed by MathWorks. It can be seen that our model is quite accurate. Now that it is accurate, we need to show how hardware efficient our model is. So in the table one, we can see that our model is in terms of operations count and memory, our model is more efficient than the archived model by MathWorks. However, since we are using the neutron reaction based method, it takes more computation time than the archived one. Once we are satisfied with these results, we migrate our model to Typhoon Hill. We can see in figure 5 that the performance is replicated between Opalerti and Typhoon Hill for our proposed model. Thus, our model is homogeneous and cross-platform cross compatible. So, in conclusion, our model is simple, cross-platform compatible and since it does not use any complicated library block, it can be migrated from one platform to another and that is the practice that is recommended until we adopt 